What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craft Master Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio One Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now, today we're going to be looking at uh, loops and if you um, just just a quick hack, man. So on on a lot of these loop packs, you'll get not all of them will uh, be so kind as to give you the key information. And I feel like I feel like the people who make these loops do this shit on purpose because. Um, I don't know like maybe like maybe they make something dope they don't want to part with it and they're like man if you're gonna use this you gotta you, you gotta do something so um yeah man uh with studio one four you can you you can take a piece of audio go into um the audio section and and just go ahead and detect the chords right um and what this will do is this will give you the chords that are you know that are being played through this through this section right so check this out so you know uh one of the one of the most difficult things to do when you're when when you're working with a loop and you don't know like the key information or anything is like is like bro like i want to add a baseline um how do i do that so we'll go ahead and we'll just program something uh super simple uh nothing too crazy here so we'll just have this regular 808 line. And as you can hear, that is just a uh, pretty damn near terrible. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, let's just, let's listen to it once again. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad. So what you can do is um, once you have, once you have your chords detected, just go to your inspector on your MIDI on your MIDI channel, right? This one we're using, um, just go ahead and select follow chords and select bass. And now let's see what we got. Oh, my bad. I'm messing up. After you, after you hit the tech chords, I'm sorry guys. After you hit the tech chords, you want to um, extract to chord track, right? Then once you have them up here, you can you can tell you can tell this to follow it and you'll see that it's it's changed the midi for us beautiful so now all those you know exclusive loops that you have that they weren't nice enough to give you the key information and stuff and you know you you kind of just you didn't use them because i know i had plenty like this this has completely opened up the door for me to go ahead and do this and this is a good solution if you don't have the melodyne uh if you just have melodyne essentials and you don't have melodyne um um studio or melodyne editor uh with the direct note access as you can see this works really quick it could get you up and running so this is cmp with craft master production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one